Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this game contains themes and depictions of the following. Stalking. Kidnapping. Strong language. Mild drugs, alcohol, and smoking. Blood, murder, suicide, flashing images, and potentially loud noises. Discretion is advised. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Sup guys, it's Kendra and Dustin, and we are back with another episode of Cemetery Mary. Previously, last episode, we went to a cem- or not the cem- well, okay. We went to the cemetery, we attended a funeral, which was nice, kind of weird. Uh, we then went to the arcade with Crowan, and we won a box, and that is where we stopped with Mary opening the box. Not a ton of stuff happened, but it was fun. Not a lot plot-wise, but we got to see more into, like, Mary's character and stuff like that. So that was cool. Anyway. Oh, we also finished the dream. Oh, yeah. With our mom. Turns out our mom's mute. Who knew? Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! We're gonna figure out what's in the box. Um, I dug into the tightly sealed tape with my fingernails and grabbed the flaps of the cardboard as I took out the prize. It was... A book? A book! <laughs> Despite having just come out of the machine, the book itself seemed a little old and worn. It's kind of a weird prize. The cover read... How to Talk to Ghosts. It's a very weird book, considering it's in a... Mary's like a... very excited, though. Okay. <laughs> that is really weird. <laughs> a stuffed animal claw machine. Yeah. See, Mary, I told you all these machines are scams. Who wants to win a book? What do you mean? It's perfect! I love it! Of course she does. That is a very oddly specific book. <laughs> uh, thank you for letting me have it. Eh? Psh, it's nothing. I mean, as long as you're happy with it, I guess it's fine. Downplay. Downplay. <laughs> uh, Karan and I left the arcade after that. But I had quite the pep in my step. I'm sure... As I was so happy with my new prize. Oh, okay. Um, and to be spending time with him again. It was actually a bit late in the day by the time we got back. Uh, wait, got out. So we grabbed something quick to bring back home for dinner. It was a not. It was nice to be riding the bus back with Crowan this time. Probably a lot less scary, <laughs> seeing as how. I mean, she has no fear. Well, that's true, cause <laughs> she's she is scared. And, like, I would say maybe slightly paranoid, but she does not think about it at all. Like, she does not change her daily routine, even though she probably should. Um, she went out of her way, like she said at the very beginning, to, like, change her path every day, I think. Yeah. So she's aware. She just is like, I don't care. I'm gonna still do my thing. Um. Well, she doesn't change. She takes a secret path every day. Right. But it's not... She's not changing it. Yeah. So it's... it's I don't know. She's very interesting. Because, yeah, she's very, like, shy and, like, reserved-ish. Yet she attends random people's funerals and talks to their loved one. It's very interesting. Um, anyway. It made the ride in the walk back to the cabin feel much less lonely. And much less scary. After retiring to our rooms that night, I put the book on the bedside table to remember to read it later. I got all ready for bed, then pulled my phone out, knowing I wouldn't be able to rest until this was taken care of. Hey, are you still there? Hello? I'm here. Batman. <laughs> what can I help you with? I mean, I think you already know the answer to that. Right. I'm sorry. There is nothing I can do for you in that regard. I don't know if you might need to get close. <laughs> I can hear you, but it's like very, very whispery deep. 
Um, are they still alright at least, or can you tell me who you are now? I feel like this one, because I feel like that one, he's gonna completely shut down. Yeah, He's probably. not, like, whoever this person is, they're not gonna tell me who they are. Most likely. Yeah. If anything, they'll just be, maybe be like, I don't know, something mysterious, like, you already know, or something. I don't know. <laughs> I have to watch over the shadows. <laughs> yeah, something stupid that doesn't actually answer our question at all. Um, but yeah, are they still alright at least? See, but the issue is that Mary doesn't word it. She leaves it very vaguely worded. So maybe in his mind, they're perfectly fine because they're dead. You know? Like, <laughs> but I'm going to go with this one because I feel like the other ones just be... They are. Yet I never hear from them. Why is that? It is safer that way. I promise you. Why'd you even message me in the first place? I thought it would help you feel better. Clearly this person is very confusing. <laughs> hey, I have your mom and dad. <laughs> That'll help. <laughs> well, to be fair, his first message was... Your parents, your parents are, are alive. Or was it alive or was it safe? Alive. Uh, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember, to be honest. We'd, I'd have to go back and look. But if you truly want me to stop, I can do that. That's not what I said. Uh, no, don't. Then why? Then I won't stop replying to you. But for now, I have to. It's literally like five messages. Good night, Mary. I don't know. I feel like that was the right decision because I just feel like the other one, whenever I try to ask them about themselves, they just shut it yeah, down. Yeah, they completely shut it down. Yeah, and so like I want to know, but I just don't feel like it'll go anywhere. Uh, the next... Wait, I woke up the next morning... Uh, pretty early. Earlier than usual. But I didn't feel tired. In fact, I actually felt pretty good. Yesterday was just a bit better of a day than usual, and I'm glad it happened. I tried to be quiet as I walked past Quern's door that morning. I saw that he left it open a crack, so I peeked inside. Mm -mm. <laughs> that is, that you shouldn't do that. <laughs> at least knock first. Yeah, at least knock first. Uh, he was sleeping still. Drilling on his pillow, an arm hanging over the side. He looked absolutely silly. But it was nice to see him getting some rest for once, instead of racing to get out of the house before dawn. Seeing as how he was still home, I thought it might be nice if I made breakfast for the two of us. I went downstairs and into the kitchen and started preparing some stuff with what we had. A while later, I heard Crowan coming down the stairs from the thumps of his steps, but he still alerted me by asking, Hey, are you cooking something down there? I'm into the kitchen. We're just finished making pancakes. What kind? Chocolate chip. Yeah. What other kind? Chocolate chip, duh. Ah, you're right. It was foolish of me to ask. <laughs> uh, Karan took his usual chair in the kitchen as I set out plates for us. Do you want milk or water? Milk, of course. What kind of stupid asshole do you take me <laughs> <Rude>. for? Crowley <laughs> <laughs> seemed preoccupied with his phone, but I was in too nice of, uh, too nice of a mood to care about that. Uh, I gave us both milk glasses and put some chocolate syrup on the table just in case. Cause you know, you can never have too much. Gren, are you doing anything today? Mm hmm. Why? I just had a lot of fun yesterday. I don't know. I thought maybe we could do something again today. If you wanted to. Oh, you want to? I, uh, hadn't really been planning on it. Do you have plans? Oh, I mean, it's okay if you're busy and all. 
Well, I mean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> huh. Uh. There's some things I have to take care of first. Like your significant other. But will you be free later tonight? Huh? I mean, yeah, I guess. I don't really hang out with anyone besides you, anyways. Alright, cuz. The gain and I were thinking of heading to the <gasps> club tonight. We're going clubbing! <laughs> How old are we? <laughs> the gang? You know, me and my buds. Oh, I heard you talk about them, but I've never met them before. See? Perfect, then. You can come to the club with us, meet them, and we can let loose over a few drinks. It's all good. Uh huh, so we must be young adults. Yeah, we covered that part anyway. Yeah, but I was thinking more like fresh out of high school. Yeah. I wasn't thinking over 21. Though, who knows? Where, like, what kind of world this is? Maybe there's a younger drinking age. I don't know. I don't drink, but I don't terribly mind going to a club with Crowen. I had never really been to a club before, and even though I'm sure that I'm not really the kind of crowd they expect to see there. I mean, depends on the club. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at Crow. Yeah. <laughs> I was always curious to see what one was like. So I looked forward to it. Yeah, there are so many different types of clubs. And clearly, if Crowen's going, <laughs> I don't think she would stick out that much. Uh, I tried to keep myself busy throughout the day. I cleaned the cabinet a bit as it had been getting a bit out of shape. And I tried to start a grocery list since I was sure we'd have to go on a run soon. Despite how I thought I might feel, I was excited actually. I'd never met these friends of Crowen's before, but I know that he'll- Oh that- wait. I know that he's known them for a while. At least since he's been living closer to Blackwood, but maybe even earlier. There's been times where Crowen would rush out of the house during dinner just to go meet them. At least I was assumed it was them. He was always hanging out with them, as far as I know. Despite how much time he seems to spend with them, I've never met them or have ever even seen what they look like before. That's odd, considering they have smartphones. Do they not have, like, a form of social media? I always heard good things about them from him, though. So at the very least, I trust that they're nice people. I mean, Froven very much seems like a guy who might not be on social media. Even Maybe not, like, an media. Instagram, but I feel like he'd be, like, a Reddit or a Twitter guy. Yeah, but you don't necessarily post pictures on Reddit. I guess. You have little icons, but it could be drawings, photos. I mean, Reddit's yeah. mostly chat and stuff. I don't really go on Reddit officially. Reddit's I just forums. like see threads. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I hope that they like me. Uh, I kept up with Crowen throughout the day. I had to ride the bus into town without him this time, but that was okay. The hard part was following his directions. Oh, so we're... I was figuring she meant, like, during the daytime, but we're completely just meeting him there at the club. Mm -hmm. But this club seemed like an awful lot of work to get to. But I was eventually able to find it after I realized it was sunken into the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. It's like a secret club? Or it's, like, underground. Ooh. There was a staircase leading down to the entryway, and I heard Crowen yell, Ah, oh, there she is! As I cascaded down them and finally met the people I'd heard so much about. Ooh, they have horns and ears. This world is very interesting. <laughs> they might be fake. I suppose. Here she is. Gal of the hour. Okay. <laughs> Hello, it's nice to meet you. I've heard such great things about you. I don't know. And so that's where we're going to end the episode. <laughs> um, 
Once again, not a ton of information, but honestly, I feel like we have not been getting any real information for a while. I have no idea how long this game goes. So that could just be like, we're not that deep into it yet. Mm. Even though we've been playing it for so long, I have no idea. But I'm no, I'm very happy to see um, Crowen and Mary hanging out. I just really hope at some point they talk about everything that's going on. Yeah. Yeah. But that might not be until things start to pick up quicker. So maybe we'll see someone at the club. I don't know. It'll be interesting. But yeah, I'm having fun. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are having fun too. And if so, you can look forward to the next episode of Summer's Harry Mary. And until then, bye-bye. <laughs>